<laughs> read this story. Two college rival football teams, Alabama and Auburn, back in the 70s. They're going at it. It's down to the final play. Unfortunately for Auburn, their starting quarterback is now out with an injury. They've got the ball and they've got the lead. They need to play all four downs to run the clock out. They don't need a score. They just need to run the clock out. So second string quarterback, psh, you're in. Listen, you don't do anything but hand the ball off. Nothing. No, no, there is nothing in the huddle said besides handoff, 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 handoff. That's it. First down, handoff. Second down, handoff. Third down, handoff. Fourth down, the snap. The exchange between the center and the quarterback is, is fumbled. So now the quarterback, second string, Mr. has to pick the, has now missed his handoff, has to pick the football off, off the turf. So now he's got, to, he's got to make it up. He's got to audible this thing in his mind. And so he steps back and says, I'm just going to pass this thing into the end zone. We'll, we'll be all right. Now the second, he was a second string quarterback. He, he was all right, but he was, he was not known well for his speed, for his, his own ability to run. So he knew, hey, I've got to just pass this thing out. Ah, this, steps back and passes it woo, to the corner of the end zone. Ah, no, Alabama was not fooled by that. Safety interception. And now safety, Alabama's safety is running, streaking down his sideline. Safety's going to be a little faster than the average guy. Streaking down the sideline toward a touchdown. Time is out. Time has expired. But they've got the ball, and the play is still live. He's outrun everybody. But coming from across the field, it comes this diagonal second-string quarterback, giving it everything he got. Yards before the end zone. Mr. Second-string quarterback tackles the safety. The news conference after the game. News reporters are asking the coach, what's, I mean, what did you think of that? How in the world did, did he catch up to, I, what do you think, coach? And the coach leans into the microphone and says, the Alabama safety was running for a touchdown. My second string quarterback was running for his life. And that made the difference. We've been treating the loss like it's just a number. It's just a membership. Why, I mean, what's the difference between 768 members and 769 members? It's just a score. Really? No, it's not. And that will be the difference. Those who understand the value of that soul, it's not a number in the membership. It is their, their, their eternity. And we will run we will play our game differently. We will serve in missions differently. We will go differently when we know that it's not just a number, it's not just a score, it's an eternity. And William Carey speaks up, or at least his line echoes through our hearts today. We must expect great things from God, but we must also attempt great things for God. So what are you expecting? What you expect will inform what you attempt. One year ago today, one year ago this Sabbath, I stood right here, and there wasn't anybody but a few of our musicians sitting out there. You were all at home. You were watching through the camera. We put up a big sign above that center camera saying, look here, because this is where everybody's at. And we begin to talk, all of us, saying, God, if God ever brings us back together as a church, if he lets us meet in, in person again, I'll, 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 we'll do it differently. We'll live differently. We'll be more courageous for him. When we get in a bind, we start telling God we'll do a lot of things. Where are those voices now? Are we too comfortable back in church? Yeah, that was nice. It's not over yet, but I mean, we're, we're doing all right now. Strike the music. Oh, beloved, 
I believe God wants to bring beauty out of ashes, out of COVID ashes. I believe God wants to raise up a generation that will live life differently. So you heard that about an outreach Sabbath this afternoon? You heard about a prayer time? Two hours from three to five. You heard about that? I, I know, but we were planning on a walk. Or, or what do we say? We're planning on, we don't say nap. We don't say nap anymore. We say rest. Oh, we need to rest. I'm not against walking, Sabbath walks. I am against Sabbath naps. I, I just don't see any, any use in those. But okay, take your walk. Take your walk from five to seven, but from three to five, let's go tell the world. Let's visit some shut-ins. Let's encourage them. Let's visit door-to-door with, with invitations for, for the Easter program. Let's pray together right here in the community center for a couple of hours, pleading with God to pour his spirit out and save our community and our family. Expect great things from God, and you will attempt great things.